Mine or that one? Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Like Ruth always said, life's too short to eat anywhere else. Make a reservation online at rootschris.com or by calling 800-544-0808. PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Michael Horn. Ladies and gentlemen, the host of our show, Fred Dreyer. Thank you so much, uh, Michael Horn. And uh, your, how was that rest back there on the hay pile? It was great. I'm back now, and I'm checking out some of uh, at our website, by the way. You can uh, go to crntalk.com and uh, take a look at uh, Dr. Michael Sheps, our guest, who is from the All Back and Joint Care Medical Group. That's the website, by the way, allbackandjointcaremedicalgroup.com. Some people talk about this one gentleman that uh, was in like a, a car accident and has lost uh, power in his, I guess, uh, right arm from uh, an injury. Kind of like the, the strength of the arm went out. Is that the, a thing that can be treated with the laser as well? That could be treated, but sounds like uh, that gentleman needs to see a neurologist and have that properly evaluated and make a proper he, diagnosis. We could talk to you about that. <laughs> what, about, what about chronic just stiff neck and back pain? Let's say you're tense, you're working on the job. You guys are talking athletes here all the time. People in front of the computer, you know, all of a sudden you got this carpal tunnel, carpal tunnel syndrome. You got the neck that gets tight. People that give me a back massage, somebody say, well, you, you need a massage. You're like a the solid brick. Well, can you loosen that up with the, the laser? Can you heal that area? We, we certainly can. This uh, modality is not just for elite athletes. It's for weekend warriors, and it's for garden-variety musculoskeletal pain as well. This what about a, toe fungus? Well, toe fungus is uh, uh, something that we hope uh, will uh, be conquered by laser. The really? Med- Siri, I just threw that out. Seriously? Uh, the research is going on. There's not a laser that's FDA-approved yet. But I think it's very so promising. We're working on it. I know um, there are some uh, some studies going on, and we hope to have uh, toenail fungus conquered. You know, 24 million Americans have toenail fungus. I asked fungus. that for Tomas. Well, there's by no the way. doubt. There's just a, kidding, Tomas. Yeah, there's, there's absolutely no doubt that, uh, that, that, that you can you can apply this to, to many 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 things. Yes. And uh, and uh, why not uh, to uh, Mike Horn's feet? <laughs> And uh, you know, I've always, I've always wondered, you know, but the, uh, how this. I was sitting in your office the other day. I'm thinking as you're working on my knee. He's worked on my knee. He's worked on my neck. I had a big knot on my neck, and uh, and it's really uh, almost gone now. Wow. He adjusted it today. We got a lot of movement out of it. Uh, I, and uh, and my right shoulder is a uh, you know the, the rotator cuff and all these other types of things. All these things have been greatly uh, affected for the for the better. Uh, and and I I know at the rate of speed that 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 you heal, you know I've had I've dealt with injuries all my life and and how you and, and knowing your body and understanding what a real injury is what you can go with what you can't go with uh, what is uh, what is critical to uh, hey you better not uh, run on that or you better not do that because you could hurt something else, so uh, w- these are the types of things that I wonder is sitting in your office that you know over the last couple of weeks. Thinking, how, where did this technology come from? You know, I I, I got to think that it had something to do with Roswell. 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 You know, New, New Mexico. New Mexico. When the when the when the you know the this UFO the UFO, the UFO t- it took a dump right there into the into the desert. Really. They they think that they that that's where the laser technology come on, seriously fiber optics they uh, they've honestly believed that's where, where it, it came, came from. from because from the time that happened in 1947 from the time that happened to the time this was they were monkeying with this all of a sudden we just started do, uh, doing fiber optics all of a sudden we had fiber optics we had the laser and stuff i mean uh, you know i mean you're from outer space mike i mean so do you have any <laughs> you have any you have any input microwave ovens really of that? yeah all of this stuff all it, of this what stuff what about has there been some research on that, Dr. Sheps, uh, seriously on that? Well, you know, Albert Einstein first postulated uh, laser in 1916, and laser's been around for 50 years. All right. And in my opinion, well, it's are. one of the most important inventions in the last 50 years, maybe second to the Internet. But hmm. we're just getting into what laser can do, and I think right now laser therapy is far infinitely superior than the modalities that we've 
used in physical medicine, chiropractic, physical therapy for the last How do we know years. if it'll work for us or not? Because I'm sure a lot of people are saying, gee, if I should go there and check this out, and Fred's saying I got my neck in good shape and my knee and stuff, do they just come and see you and talk about it and you can assess the situation to see if it can be of help? Well, the protocol as a chiropractor, physician, I train podiatrists, uh, orthopedic surgeons on this modality is the same. You know, you're going to do a thorough history. You're going to do an exam. Okay. You're going to look at the x-rays or MRI. Uh, just the treatment protocol is going to change to something superior. Gotcha. T- take us through, uh, if, if, like, uh, 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 when I walked in today, you were going to work on my, on my knee. What is the what is the uh, the routine? How long does it take for someone to come in and get a treatment? What's it What's it consist of? Uh, as far as specifically the laser treatment, mm-hmm. for it depends on the diagnosis. But let's take someone similar to you with the uh, patella tendonitis. Let's say uh, it's a ten minute laser treatment, followed by five minutes of ice. I use a modality known as a Zimmer cryo machine, you know, that machine that blows cold air on you. It's just a better way to deliver ice, mm-hmm. followed by another 10 minutes of the laser. And I'm introducing about 13,000 joules. Goal with the laser is increase the temperature of the part you're treating by 10 degrees. And I'm fortunate. Uh, I work with BioLase, uh, the leader in uh, laser technology, and I have infrared cameras that are available to me. But what we're trying to do is raise the temperature 10 degrees, and that 15 minutes after the treatment in an inflamed knee, the temperature actually decreases. So we're seeing a decrease in the temperature, a decrease in inflammation. We can measure that with infrared cameras. Interesting. So so, uh, uh, within 10 minutes... If uh, you can uh, you can uh, apply the, the the laser through what physically uh, how does a how does a laser come uh, how do, how does a laser come onto my uh, onto my patella tendon if I had uh, if I had a, a, a patella tendon problem how how do you do that the the actual laser is a light and the high intensity laser is invisible. There's a red aiming beam that has no therapeutic effect, but we're putting the light directly on and we're having that light absorb five inches into your skin and it's abs- five inches absorbed by the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, the soft tissue, and even the bone. That could actually go through, you know, your knee is four That's or five inches. That's the properties of laser. That's unbelievable. You know, when we get back, we'll talk a little bit more with Michael Sheps on the, uh, the, uh, uh, the incredible in uh, 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 work he's been doing with the laser and sports injuries. We'll get into uh, a couple other things with him about uh, where he, where he is located, what he's doing, what uh, what the future lies for him and his uh, his company, uh, and how he's working himself into the future with this fantastic laser. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Fred Dreyer show on CRN 41 past the hour. <laughs> 